Hello everyone. Um, tonight I'm getting ready to go to a wine tasting party at my friend Tina's house. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you my daytime to nighttime look when I'm kind of in a rush and I don't want to shower and start all over again. So I started with my regular natural face. I kind of have gray, a little bit of pink. Um, and tonight I'm wearing more creams and beiges so I want to change it up a little bit. So the first, oh I forgot to get my makeup brushes. Hold on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh with this Arbonne Sheer Pressed Powder and this is in medium. So I'm going to start with this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my big brush and just kind of put it on because I don't want it to cake in. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of refresh. I don't have a whole lot on my brush, just a little. Just kind of take some of the shine away. So that's my first step. Just kind of, you know, I'm going to use the puff just a little bit to get in my nose. It's a little bit more oily. There you go. So then I'm going to put the my bronzer on. This is the this is the older Arbonne bronzer. I'm trying to use it up. I have a long way to go. I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm just going to lightly dust it in, kind of shake it off. And right in here, I'm just going to add some more, give me a little bit more definition. And then a little bit down here. Just kind of take that double chin away. And you can see I don't have a really harsh line. It might look worse on the camera with the lighting, but I'm going to blend it in with my blush in a little bit. So then I'm going to use some blush. I'm going to use it from my um, great big Arbonne palette that I have. And I'm going to use, let's see, Excite, which is kind of a, let me see if you can see it. Which one is it? This one right here. It's kind of a beigey, bronzy, a little bit dark, and I'm just gonna. Arbonne's colors are very concentrated, so a little bit goes a really long way. So I'm gonna put that on right here on my cheekbone, and then up, go a little bit, and then, and just blend it into that bronzer. Do both cheeks. And then I'm just going to hit my chin and my nose with whatever's left on the brush. Give me a little color. I'm kind of a beige shade of pale during the summer. So that's that. Not a big difference. Yep. So then what I'm going to do with my eyes is I'm going to use a little bit of a shimmer color. It's called Mesmerize. And I'm just going to go right here and up. And it's got just a little bit of shimmer in it kind of dress it up a little bit. And I'm not using a lot because I already have makeup on. I'm just kind of going over what's there. So that's it. Right up here to the brow bone. Down in there. So now that's giving me just a hint of shimmer. And then I'm going to use my Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to use the, the darkest color for my crease. Go right in my crease. And I try not to open my eyes too wide so that whatever overlap from being an old lady, I just make sure that that looks okay. So I'm just doing my crease right now. And basically I'm just darkening up what was already there. So I've done just the crease. Now I'm going to bring it in to my eye a little bit. Just making it a little darker. I'm going to do the other side. Make sure it's even. Then I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to do the V up here. Oh, that looks good. I may have put a little too much on, but I'll blend it in. I 
doesn't look even. So obviously if I wasn't making a video I'd be taking a lot more time um, blending and fixing this all. I just want to blend it in. I really like using my fingers. And so that's my crease. And then I'm going to take my black CoverGirl Liquiline Blast eyeliner in black. And I'm going to use my mirror here so I can really see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go over the existing line that I had during the day. Just darkening it up, refreshing it a little bit. Then bring it up, make the V. Just gonna follow what I have. Now during the day, I'm trying not to do too much under my eye. So for night, I'm gonna darken that up. So there's that side. Try not to cover. Do the other eye. And then underneath. Okay, that looks pretty even. Now I'm going to take the other side of my eyeliner and I'm going to use the smudge part and just blend that in. It's very important, I think, to blend Sorry for the funny faces I'm making. Okay, so there's the eyeliner blended in. Now I'm gonna go back to the Naked palette. I'm gonna get my eyeliner brush, this one. It's a nice little angled point. And I'm gonna dip it in to here. And then I'm gonna go over the eyeliner to soften it up. Underneath, bring that up a little bit, give it a little bit of an exaggeration. So that's that, do the other one. And I'm really going right over the eyeliner just to smooth it out. Uh, sometimes you notice the eyeliner doesn't go all the way to your lash line. You have that little white spot there. So, and then right underneath. That. Exaggerate that wing a little bit. So that looks pretty even. And then I'm going to take my this brush and I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. I don't have any harsh lines. So I'm going to take my bigger brush, my eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to dip it into a little bit of a, a shimmer. Let's see, can you see that? A little bit of shimmer. And I'm going to put it right in the corner of my eye and down here. Since I have the dark circles under my eyes, this always helps to kind of brighten, brighten my eyes up a little bit. And I think the older you get, the less makeup you should probably wear. I'm just going to blend it all in. I think I'm going to take a little bit of that shimmer and put it in my brow bone. Right there. Blend it in. I probably need to get my eyebrows waxed. I think I said that on my last makeup video. So, there you go. I already have mascara on, and sometimes when you try to put mascara over mascara, it tends to clump, um, but I'm going to put a little coat of this on, and this is Sorme Extreme Mascara. I got it um, when a beauty supply shop closed. I'm not crazy about it. I'd prefer my Maybelline, but I think this was a buck, so I went with it. So, I'm put mascara on. I'm really trying to get more to the root because if you put a lot of mascara on the tip, 
it will weigh your brows down and then you just look all messed up. Oh, look at that. I think I did that last time too. Real quick. I'm just kind of lightly going over my bottom lid. So I'm going to take care of that mascara on my nose right now. I'm sitting at my dresser and all my makeup's in this drawer right here. So I don't have any makeup remover handy, so I'm going to use Mom's 409. So I clean that off. I'm going to hit it with a little powder. Now usually the rule of thumb is the, the more dramatic your eye is, the less you want to do to your lips. You either want really strong lips or really strong eyes. So I'm going with, um, it's called Nectar and it's an Arbonne lipstick. I just got mess on my face again. So the light is showing it very coral. It's really not um, that coral. It's more of a nude color. But now I'm going to go over it with this Tallulah nude lip gloss. It has just a little bit of shimmer in it. And that'll take it down a little bit. I need a little bit of sh more shimmer in my eyes. Right there. And this is the lightest shimmer color that I've been using. And then the very last step is I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Happy Booster in Beige. It's a glow and mood boosting powder. And this just has a little tiny bit of shimmer in it so it kind of makes you sparkle a little bit at night and I'm just going to go all over give me a little bit of sparkle and of course down here my decollete so I just kind of shimmer all over so that is basic my day to night makeup look I know it's not very dramatic, but I think I'm going to curl my hair. I'm not sure yet. So that's my makeup look, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.